what really works in psychotherapy and why? A surprising finding. It has been claimed that there are over 500 different forms of psychotherapy and often we hear that one therapy is far better than another. What is the truth? When a psychotherapy works, why does it work? Are the good outcomes due to the interventions in the psychotherapy? Is it due to differences among clients? Is it primarily due to the experience of the therapist? What is the truth? In this video, we will cover the truth as revealed by ongoing research studies. Then we will look behind the factors that are correlated with a therapy's good outcome to one major neuropsychological factor that causes the good outcomes. Let's start with some exciting results of research conducted by Wampold and Norcross. Their research has been called Common Factors Research because they have discovered some factors that are common across all psychotherapy models, factors that are correlated with a good therapy outcome. Once we have investigated those common factors, we will look at how these common factors are related to an important neuropsychological factor. The first major factor is called the Therapeutic Alliance, which encompasses the emotional bond, agreement on goals, and task collaboration between the therapist and the client. Emotional bond is just a label for the trust, empathy, and rapport between therapist and client. These factors have been found, unsurprisingly, to the development of a solid supportive therapeutic relationship. Another very important factor that is part of the therapeutic alliance is the collaborative development of the goals and the therapy and agreement to work collaboratively on those goals. When there is collaborative agreement on the goals, the therapist and client and therapist have a shared understanding about the objectives of the therapy. When the therapist and client collaborate on those objectives, the alliance is reinforced. Thus, working together to address the client's concerns and implement the agreed-upon strategies to address those concerns strengthens the alliance that is so crucial to a good therapy outcome. A second category of common factors has to do with expectancy and hope. If a client has positive expectations about the effectiveness of the therapy as well as hope that their life situation can improve, this very positively influences the therapeutic outcomes. Represent crucial elements within the therapeutic context. This category of common factors doesn't have to do just with the client's expectancy and hope but also the therapist's confidence in their ability to help support positive change and reinforce the client's expectancy and hope for a positive outcome. The expectancy and hope of the client and the therapist are essential to a positive therapy outcome. A third category of common factors has to do with cultural elements. This involves the culturally based rituals, healing symbols, and perhaps ceremonies, routines, and other cultural elements including symbolic elements within the therapeutic context. These rituals and symbols signify progress and transformation, serving as potent vehicles for emotional healing and growth. Cultural and symbolic elements resonate with the client's identity, fostering a sense of validation and belonging within the therapeutic space. The therapist doesn't necessarily introduce these elements within a therapy session, but learn from the client about culture and cultural elements and support the client in integrating those into the therapy. The final categories of common factors are what are called extra-therapeutic factors. These factors include client variables and environmental factors that influence the therapeutic process beyond the confines of the therapeutic setting. Some of the important client variables are the personal characteristics, strengths, and resources outside of the therapy that may contribute to the client's resilience and capacity for change. Some of the environmental factors are social support, the cultural context which includes attitude toward therapy in general, and the significant and unique life circumstances of the client. Client variables such as personal characteristics, strengths, and resources outside of therapy contribute to the client's resilience and capacity for change. Environmental factors, including social support, cultural context, and life circumstances. These extra therapeutic factors may contribute to the experiences and perceptions of the client that may impact the therapy process and outcomes. Understanding and integrating these categories of common factors into clinical practice enhances therapeutic effectiveness and fosters positive client outcomes. Each category contributes uniquely to the therapeutic process, 
highlighting the multidimensional nature of psychotherapeutic interventions. But why do these common factors contribute to a good therapeutic outcome? We can find some of the reasons in neuropsychology and evolutionary psychology. The brain is designed to identify environmental threats to help preserve life. So the brain perceives patterns as either threat patterns or resource patterns. Clients who present in psychotherapy, as all individuals, have experienced some environmental factors, such as particular events and situations as threats, often overwhelming threats. Evolutionarily, we humans lessened the perception of threat and tried to address it effectively by forming tribes or communities where collectively we could face and hopefully conquer or lessen the threat from an overwhelming threat to a manageable one. When we experience a perceived threat, the body produces cortisol, which in the short run can be very helpful to ready the individual to address the threat. However, if the individual perceives overwhelming threat over a long period of time, the elevated cortisol may contribute to mental and emotional issues, such as anxiety and depression, and or physical and medical conditions such as cardiovascular problems, immune suppression related to autoimmune disease development, high blood pressure, etc. The amazing thing is that when humans bond in community, have shared collaborative goals, share important transcendent values such as truth, justice, beauty, hope in the future, helping others, compassion, etc. They produce oxytocin that reduces the cortisol in the body and contribute to better mental and physical health. You may already see how the common factors that are associated with a good therapy outcome may be related by these neuropsychological and evolutionary realities. All the common factors share a common neuropsychological basis, and that is the role of oxytocin in the common factors. Oxytocin, often hailed as the love hormone, plays a pivotal role in shaping human social behavior and emotional connections. As therapeutic alliance increases, oxytocin levels increase contributing to a sense of trust, empathy, and connection between therapist and client. Positive expectations and hope, essential ingredients in psychotherapeutic progress, are supported by oxytocin's influence, amplifying the belief in the possibility of change and growth. Rituals and healing symbols, infused with meaning, purpose, and which have oxytocin-laden significance, may serve as strong elements for emotional healing and transformation. Moreover, extra-therapeutic factors, bolstered by oxytocin-induced social bonds and support networks, create a positive ground for therapeutic change to take root and flourish. In psychotherapy, common factors serve as catalysts for healing and transformation. Understanding the biochemical influence of oxytocin and its evolutionary roots deepens our comprehension of therapeutic dynamics. With each therapeutic encounter, we navigate hope and resilience. Embracing the optimism so vital in psychotherapy, we recognize the potential for profound positive outcomes. As we collaboratively experience the path of healing, let us maximize our hope, knowing that through oxytocin-fueled connections, the seeds of transformation may be sown, contributing to a better psychotherapy outcome. Disclaimer. This video is intended for educational purposes only. The information provided in this video is not intended to offer legal, medical, or psychological advice or treatment. The content presented is for informational purposes and should not be construed as a substitute for professional advice or guidance from qualified and licensed professionals. If you are in need of legal, medical, or psychological assistance, please consult with a relevant licensed professional who can provide personalized guidance and support tailored to your specific needs and circumstances. Remember, seeking professional help from qualified professionals is essential for addressing individual concerns and ensuring appropriate care and treatment.